this here is the laundry room. There are five washers. Eat, four of them are a buck seventy-five. The other one is two fifty, but that one is also slightly bigger. Um, one of these is a uh, like this, so that's kind of sad. Um, and then they have four, I mean five dryers. They're all a dollar twenty-five cents, all the same size. Pretty good size, if you ask me. They all look like that. They have chairs for you to sit at. They have a TV and stuff you can watch. You can get like a DVDs from the um, uh, clubhouse and put it in the DVD player up there. Have a folding table, uh, one of those carts that you push around. Bulletin board, of course. And they actually have an ironing table, but they also provide an iron. It's very rare that you see an iron at what. Yeah, I got an outdoor area over here by the restrooms and uh, I don't know what rec hall, I don't know. Got those throwing games where you wrap it around the pole and then you got, you got horseshoes. I don't know if laundry's over there or not. It's yeah, clubhouse but Yay! So this is the clubhouse at Quail Run RV Park. They come with tons of books, movies, and games. They have two bookshelves. This is just one of them. Here's the other one. Uh, they have a bulletin board. Actually, two of them for all you guys who like notifications. LOL. They have a women's and a men's restroom, and they actually do have a kitchen with a refrigerator. They do provide sodas, but they ask that you leave a 75 cent donation. Ah, oh, it looks like the donation jar is right there. They got stuff ready for Thanksgiving. Got a sink, two burner, four burner gas stove, and a microwave. And this place is huge. It has a huge TV. All these tables and chairs in here. So many of them. Very nice little area to hang out. Nice clean restrooms. Oh, that's kind of cool. Decent looking showers, except you gotta pay the freaking quarter of your crap. We got some of these big cactuses here at this RV park. few trees and a lot of open space. I'm sure that's not the case all year, but this is a uh, in November. The only real problem other than if you pull in after hours, you have to use one of the temporary spots and stay more than one day, you have to move. And then they all have these same concrete pads, kind of like what Pirate's Den had. Way above the concrete, or the gravel, as you can see, which makes it where you can't use them if you've got the more stable steps on your rig. Because they don't they won't go down far enough to allow the door to close. See we're like I said three inches below the concrete pad. It's on the lowest setting we can barely get the door shut. In fact we had to dig down a little bit. So we're preparing for the next few days when we won't have water. Filling up the fresh tank.